Hi, this is Avinash Pujari and I am your trainer for the online AIX training. About me, I have almost 10 plus years of experience in IT industry and out of 10 years of experience, I have 9 plus years of uh, experience on IBM AIX, SAN, then backup technologies, virtualization technologies like VMware, Citrix and the uh, Red Hat Linux technology and Veritas Cluster and Veritas Volume Manager also. In 2009, I have done the certification of uh, AIX. You can see this IBM Certified Specialist System P Administration. So I'll be taking all your online training sessions. About AIX, it is Advanced Interactive Executive. So it is the proprietary operating system of the IBM, which was installed only on the proprietary hardware of the IBM. So it was launched in the year 1986. It has become the standard operating system for the RS6000 series on its launch in 1990 and is still actively developed by IBM. It is currently supported on power systems. If you have to go for the certification, uh, just go through this uh, website www-03.ibm.com slash certify slash test slash sam c9010-022 dot shtml about this test, uh, name of this test is IBM AIX Administration Version 1. In this test, uh, you'll get uh, 62 questions and time allowed 120 minutes. You have to score minimum 58% to pass this exam and language is English. What are we going to cover in this training? So, total 19 topics are there. First topic is the AIX and the power hardware history. So, to become master in the AIX technology, you should uh, know the AIX versions and the power hardware versions also. Then um, second is installation of AIX. So I'll be showing you how to do the installation of AIX operating system on a power hardware. There are three types of installation available. New and complete overwrite, migration installation and preservation installation. So I'll be showing you new and complete overwrite. Boot process and shutdown process. So boot process is very important interview question. So we'll be um, discussing this one in detail. Paging space, it is nothing but a virtual memory available in AIX technology to improve the performance of the system. So in this uh, paging space, uh, we'll be seeing the commands related to the paging space, how to create the paging space, how to delete that one, how to expand the size of this one. Then fifth topic is devices. This is very important topic because IBM AIX, it is the proprietary operating system of the IBM, which gets installed only on the proprietary hardware of the IBM. So whatever devices you want to purchase, you have to purchase it from the IBM itself. That's why devices is very important. Then LVM, this is logical volume manager. In this, we'll be covering what is volume group, what is logical volume, what is physical volume, what is physical partition, what is logical partition, what are the rules there and how to break those rules. All those things will be covering in the logical volume manager. Seventh topic is file system. So we'll be seeing how to create a file system on AIX. We'll be focusing mainly on JFS and JFS2 file system. So JFS2 it is the enhanced general file system and JFS it is general file system. So we'll be seeing the difference between that. Eighth topic is the job scheduling. So how to schedule a job in AIX. We'll be seeing that one. The ninth one is the backup and restore. Very important topic. In AIX, uh, there is MKCSB command. By using that one, we can create the bootable backup image copy of the AIX operating system. If system is down, in that case, we can boot the system from the backup copy. Then um, software installation, how to do the installation of software on AIX operating system. Then user administration is the 11th topic. 12th topic, SAN connectivity with AIX. So we'll be covering what is the HBA card, how to connect the HBA card to the AIX server, what commands we need to fire and what is multipathing. All those things we'll be covering on 12th topic. Then 13th one is the uh, network administration. In network administration, we'll be covering how to assign the IP address to the AIX system, how to assign the host name, how to make an entry in the slash etc host file and what is link aggregation. Supporting one services, services uh, basically services it is the background process for the front end application. So uh, we'll be seeing how to start the service, how to stop the service, how to restart the service, how to manage the services. Fifteenth one is the monitoring and tuning. So what are the monitoring commands available in AIX? We'll be covering that one and how to tune the parameters. If you 
if you want to improve the performance of the system. The 16th one is the WPAR. Uh, it's nothing but a workload partitioning. So this uh, we call it as a software virtualization also. So I'll be covering the WPAR also in depth. Then uh, 17th one, basic Unix commands. So uh, commands like uh, ls, cd, pwd, wc, all these commands will be covering in a basic Unix commands and of course vi editor. 18th topic is interview question. We'll be discussing some interview questions which will be helpful for you to crack the interview. And 19th one is the overview of the advanced AIX. Okay, so in, uh, in advanced AIX cluster and the virtualization. We'll have the overview of this cluster and virtualization. Now hands-on practice. If you are watching this video on YouTube, then uh, you need a hands-on practice also. So for that, we have a remote AI server available with us. Okay, so uh, you, if you are from India, then charges would be 2000 rupees. And if you are uh, not from India, then uh, $1.75 you have to pay for a month daily two hours you can access the machine so best way is to see the video and do the practical that way you can uh, become the master in the AX technology then uh, if you want your dedicated LPAR for practice purpose or if you want to deliver a corporate training also in that case uh, we'll be giving you a dedicated LPAR and for that dollar 200 is the cost we have a setup of the power H and power VM also so to access that one, you just have to send an email to inquiry at goalsinfocloud.com and we'll, give it, we'll be giving you the access to the advanced AX also. If you want to test the connectivity to our server, the best way is open the putty, click on telnet and type this IP address. Username is admin, password is admin. And uh, you'll be getting the admin user login. You can fire the basic uh, Unix commands like if you want to check the um, OS level and the PRT con. Okay, so you can see the server configuration by using these basic commands. Great. So if you are really serious to learn this AIX technology, I would recommend you to uh, see one video on a daily basis. You have to do the self study. Some good documents are available online, or you can email us to get the document of the AIX if it's freely available we'll give it uh, give it you can email us we'll give it to you free of cost and then hands-on practice is important for hands-on practice remote access is available with us uh, help you for the exam preparation also if uh, you want uh, more help then uh, we can help you with the dumps also for a dump also you have to send an email to inquiry at goalsinfocloud.com and interview question practice so uh, on our blogspot also uh, we have uploaded the questions you can get the questions from there or the last video is also available for the interview questions so an interview question practice this is also important you have to do the practice on a regular basis to crack the interview if you need any kind of help related to the AIX training you can get back to us on this uh, inquiry at goalsinfocloud.com thank you for watching this video and we are good to start all our training sessions. Subscribe our YouTube channel to get uh, good videos of the AIs and other technologies. Thank you.